Hey guys, Lacey here with Leaping Lizards Reptile Experience and spring has sprung, which means that animals are all on the move. It's such an exciting time of year. That got me thinking about living things, but then that also got me thinking about non-living things. And did you know that everything on earth is either living or non-living? So what are some features of living things? How can we tell if something is alive? So first of all, almost all living things breathe. So they can breathe in oxygen from the air and they can breathe out carbon dioxide. Now animals that live on land, like us humans, um, dogs, monkeys, elephants, cats, we breathe in oxygen from the air and we get rid of carbon dioxide. Now aquatic animals or animals that live in the water, they get their oxygen from the water around them. Living things also eat. So we eat food and then we get energy from the food that we eat. We grow, so we start off small and we get bigger and change our body shape over time. We move independently, so we can move our bodies. We also reproduce. So animals can have babies and plants can make seeds that grow new plants. We also can have senses, so living things can have feelings. Living things include Items like plants, animals, human beings, things like trees, mosses, bacteria, all kinds of wonderful things are living things. Non-living things do not breathe. They don't eat things, they don't grow, they don't move on their own, and they don't reproduce. They also don't have feelings. So things like rocks, cars, park benches, toys, and books, those are examples of non-living things. There are so many living things on Earth. In fact, there are over 8.5 million species of living things on this Earth, including our little friend here, Mr. T the box turtle. This is Mr. T. He's finally starting to come out a little bit, but box turtles are super cool. They actually put their whole legs, their whole face, their whole arms right inside their shell and close up all the way around it. We'll have to do a video on box turtles soon because they're really, really cool. Huh, Mr. T? You've been digging in the dirt. I can tell. <laughs> so now that we know what makes something living versus non-living, we're gonna stop this video right here. We're gonna pick up next time on living things and talk about some of the most common living things, which are animals. We will learn about animal classifications and talk all things living things. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about us, like our page, and check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Leaping Lizards Reptile. See you soon.